YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl, McCarr from Cougar's Closet. How y'all doing? So y'all are now under my food for thought tab. So today we will be talking about Goya black bean soup prepared with olive, bell peppers, and onions. Let's see what the ingredients is. Water, salt, black beans, olive oil, so soy bean oil, green bell peppers, dehydrated onions, dehydrated garlic, some type of spices and sugar and vinegar. So let me tell y'all the story behind this, why I want to do this. Because I like black beans, so this video is also for bean lovers or black bean lovers. So I like black beans, but I've always known about the all blue can with, you know, just the black beans with the sauce. But my father has me on a special diet, right? And so the diet lately has been consisting of stuff like this, like boiled chicken and rice, like like almost stripped down with no season, like chicken broth and like um, beef broths. And I need to start getting into how to make bone broths and just like plain beans and rice. And like maybe I could throw some green peppers and onions in there or and I got some chicken, some diced chicken that's pre-cooked that I can throw in here because the this, this spiritual healing I'm going through and the physical healing I'm going through at the same time is making me very weak. But it's, I'm torn down to be built back up by this diet my father has me on. So, like, sometimes I can eat like a little bird, right? Where, like, I don't want to eat at all. I just drink water. I just drink water. I don't want to eat food. And then there's sometimes when I turn into a war hog, I want to eat everything moving. Baby, I have a bite of your leg. <laughs> and so I was making my grocery list, right? And it was crazy because I had black beans and balsamic rice in the bag um, on my list. But I only knew about the, you know, regular black beans like they said, like Chipotle with the uh, bean sauce. That's the only, because I'm just now starting to get into beans. And I didn't like any other beans, really, but the black bean. And then, like, late a few times I've eaten some pintos. I like those or something. But I, I've never been a bean person. But when I did try a bean, the only bean that captured my eye was the black bean. So I was making a list, right? With my blue bean, the regular blue black, blue can black bean list and rice, and out of nowhere, um, me and a lady get to talking, and so she's wanting me to tell her where I could loc where she can locate this. So we got to talking about beans, and I told her I love black beans, and she loved black beans as well. And she said, well, I'm looking for these. And we were walking around, you know, we were looking. I'm looking for these because I lived out in Miami. She said, and I love Cuban restaurants. And this is the black beans that the Cubans use, you know, when they prepare their Cuban meals. You know, the Cuban sandwiches. I had a partner, a Cuban associate, to tell me to try the Reuben sandwich, but I didn't make it to that. I was so busy into the plantains and different little stuff. So she was saying that there's a difference between black beans and black bean soup. So this has more of a twang, and I don't know why. It kind of gives me like a tomato slices should be in there, like pico to gallo type of deal should be in here. But it got the vinegar and salt, like the seasoning is just right in here. So... I had made me this and some rice um, for dinner, you know, because like I said, my body is in a fragile state where it's, it's, it needs to be healed, like on a, ooh, on a different level. Is that a cellular level? I, yeah, I think I'm being healed on a cellular level. And so, 
Right now, I can't have a lot of heavy stuff. He knows how to get these diets going. And a lot of water followed by fruit. So this is what this diet's been consisted of. Like, stripped down like rice, chicken and beans, you know, green peppers and onions, no seasonings. And chicken, boiled chicken and rice and bone broths and chicken, uh, chicken broths and beef broths and fresh fruit out the produce and plenty of water. So that's the diet that he has me on right now. So when I made this, it is, it, it's, 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 it's cause I, when I used to go to their restaurant, I was in love with their beans. Like I couldn't understand what they was putting in them. Like, like, is it cilantro in here? Like what y'all doing? But I never could get that taste anywhere else. I thought they was blending, you know, the ingredients in the kitchen. And I'm sure, and some of them are, you know, the ones that's, you know, stumped down about that, about that life. But this comes in a can, which is the black bean soup Goya in the red can. And the regular black beans are in the blue can. So I want to tell you all about these. Like, you don't have to season them. You don't have to do nothing. Like, they, they straight jump off the porch. They ready to roll. These old black Goyas, they call them Negroes. Negros. But no, these is Negroes. They saying what they saying on the can. It's no mistake. But um, they are delicious. So if you if you never try, if you love black beans, regular black beans, and you've never ever in your life been to a Cuban restaurant and see how they prepare their um black beans, then you can try the black bean soup by Goya over a bit of rice and some chicken or, you know, baked chicken, you know, or something, however you want to do it. But this is extremely nice. She, you know, I was thinking about my list and I love the black beans and rice and I don't eat it much, but I needed an upgrade. And then when she came and told me about this, this was the upgrade because the Goya black beans are delicious, but they bland because they don't have any seasoning on them. But these are seasoned, and it's more of a soup. And so it goes fine over a bed of rice. And like I said, like Spanish colonies use this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you haven't tried these black bean soups and you're a bean lover or a black bean lover, like I'm strictly a black bean lover, I will try other beans, but I can only have so much of them, if that makes sense. Like black eyed peas, I can only have... I say about the most like five or seven, and that might be too much, spoonfuls of them. I don't know if they too rich for me or something. And then like pinto beans, I like them. I can only have a handful of them, about four or five with some cornbread and hot sauce and some fresh green beans and onions, but not so much of that. And these, I can't eat them all the time. But I could make a meal out of them. And then, like, I got a can in there now. And this can going to last me for a long time. Because I don't eat them like that unless I go to Chipotle. So. And I think this helps with your liver and stuff like that. Beans and stuff. With your iron and stuff like that. Well, anywho. Uh, black bean lovers, this one's for you. Mwah. Cougars closet. <laughs>